It is mailbag time here on the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Submit all your questions right now, and I will answer as many of them as I can. Again, hashtag Chiefs, or you can super chat uh, to get your questions on the show, and that way I will be able to answer uh, as many as I possibly can. And we're going to get this party started uh, with our good friend Trisha Johnson. Appreciate you submitting this question. Should the Chiefs sign OBJ in free agency and listen it's uh it's an interesting conversation right like if you asked me this two months ago i would have been like you're out of your mind he's done but it's kind of interesting how things can change right i mean odell beckham jr uh with the la rams has been a pretty solid player there there's just no denying that at the end of the day since he's joined la you look at the numbers here this includes the playoff win by the way uh, over Arizona this past weekend, 31 catches, 359, and six touchdowns. He's still an elite red zone threat. Uh, sure, he's not getting 100 yards a game or anything like that, but he's also getting less targets because the Rams target Cooper Cup just a ton, uh, a ton during these games. So OBJ, would I sign him? If he's cheap enough, I might consider it. Uh, imagine him being your number two uh, receiver behind Tyreek Hill. Then you got Travis Kelsey work in the middle. That would be uh, pretty darn impressive. So should the Chiefs sign OBJ? Type Y for yes. Type in for no. Get your votes in right now in the comments. Next question coming in from Miles Chung. Besides Josh Allen, who are you most worried about when the Chiefs face the Bills? I mean, obviously, that's the answer, right? But... Uh, Stephon Diggs, he's a true number one receiver. Uh, you know, we'll see what the corner situation ends up being on Sunday night. And by the way, Tyron Matthew better show up. He recorded zero stats against Pittsburgh. He's not in the box score. I triple checked. No tackles, no assisted tackles, no pass breakups, nothing. It's like he didn't play. Like, can Tyron Matthew show up, please? Uh, we need that to happen. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, Stephon Diggs, uh, he, he's a game changer. Uh, I, uh, sneaky X Factor. Dawson Knox. He cooked the Chiefs last time. He's had a good year at tight end as well. KJ Eternal, do the Chiefs have – do the Chiefs fire specs? sorry about that, after the playoffs? I mean, it depends what happens, right? I don't think so at this point. Now, if they go lose 42-10 to 10 at home to Buffalo and the defense just gets absolutely uh, bludgeoned, maybe that changes things. But – Remember, guys, from week 8 to week 16, two months of the season, half the year, this was a top three defense in the NFL. That's not an exaggeration. Now, the last couple of weeks of the regular season, that slipped a little bit. Pittsburgh was pretty good, though, but I don't count that game. Big Ben's so washed. I mean, you can't even uh, factor that in. Let's see how they play against Josh Allen, and if they win that game, let's see how they play against Tennessee or Cincinnati, and we'll go from there. Caleb Harrell, do we draft Jamison Williams or – uh, Smoke Monday or Roger McCreary, both from Auburn. Uh, I, McCreary's the corner, I believe. Uh, dude, if you could get Jamison Williams on this offense, are you kidding me? He's the exact type of receiver the Chiefs like. Quick, explosive, yards after the catch, and he's not a gadget guy like McCole Hardman, who has been playing better, by the way, but uh, Williams, I mean, he would be so dangerous in this offense. Nicholas King, what are the chances the Chiefs pick up Derek Stingley Jr. in the draft? Pretty low. I think he's going to go top 10, top 15 at the worst. Uh, maybe he slips. Maybe he doesn't test well. We'll see. Uh, you'd have to move up quite a bit. We know Brett Veach has been known to be aggressive uh, in these drafts or via trades in the offseason, but uh, I think that uh, that's pretty unlikely. Tom Hood, who's more clutch, Josh Allen or Mahomes? Mahomes. Guys, he's won a Super Bowl. Now, Josh Allen is... He's, he's legit, guys. AFC title game last year, MVP finalist last year, another good year this year. Just steamrolled New England last week. Seven drives, seven touchdowns, led by the Allen in that offense. Uh, but more clutch, it's got to be the guy uh, that's won 50 regular season games in his four, four, first four years as a starter and has gone to three straight AFC title games and two straight Super Bowls. Like, I'd say that's pretty clutch. Joe Fazio, will CEH be back? I don't really know, man. Uh, we're filming this uh, live on Wednesday. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, uh, we may have further information. Uh, it seems like he's getting closer, but uh, it's it's hard to say because, uh, uh, you know, he just hasn't been progressing as fast as we had hoped. I will say this, and I've said this for a couple weeks, he's not the difference in winning the Super Bowl, in my opinion. If you, it, if you After the Super Bowl, if there's anyone out there saying, well, <laughs> 
we had CEH, no. Like, this team isn't built on having a dynamic running back, which, by the way, CEH isn't really dynamic anyways. Okay, Chapel, how confident are you playing the Bills Sunday night? Um, I'm confident, but, like, I'd be lying if I said I think the Chiefs are for sure going to win. Buffalo can win this game. Anyone who tells you otherwise – uh, is wearing uh, tinted lenses, and that's okay. You get to this point in the playoffs, it shouldn't be a guarantee win. Uh, but I do think these are the two best teams of the AFC, and I think the winner of this game will go to the Super Bowl. So predict the score. Chiefs, Bills, Arrowhead Stadium. Predict the score. Let us know what uh, who's going to win and what the final score is going to be. I got the Chiefs 38-35, to but I want to hear it from you guys in the comments. And if you want to go bet on this game or any other game during – Divisional round weekend. This is the best weekend in the NFL. You got the final eight teams uh, duking it out, four AFC teams. Uh, you also got um, uh, four NFC teams as well. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. That's the place to go to get to bet US. Use our promo code Chiefs125. Put down 100 bucks, You get 125 for free. Uh, here are my picks. This is how I'm feeling so far. I like the Bengals getting points at Tennessee. I think they win that game outright. Uh, I love the fact that they, they're getting three and a half. I like the under in San Francisco, Green Bay. I know both those offenses can really go, but weather is kind of going to be tricky in the teens. It might snow. I'm going to go under there. I'm going to go over in Rams Bucks, 48 and a half. I think that's, you know, a 35, 31 game, something like that. And then while I'm not insanely confident, the Chiefs' only two-point favorites, Patrick Mahomes, fun fact here, has never been less than a two-and-a-half-point favorite at home in his career. And as of now, that's how things sit, uh, less than that. So give me that when you got Mahomes playing. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Promo code is Chiefs125 to get signed up at BetUS. Keep it moving here with DJ Wolfenstein. We got, um, was Kansas City overconfident coming into the season? It's possible, you know, the 20 and 0 talk, which evaporated quickly. They lost week two, started three and four, uh, but they have a reason to be confident. But guys, this has been the, the the most consistent team in the NFL since 2018. They 12 plus wins every year, uh, and last year they had coming off a 14 and two season. And I still firmly believe would have won the Super Bowl had their offensive line not fallen apart uh, throughout the season. They just could not block Tampa. That's why they lost. So. Uh, maybe a tick overconfident and maybe a tick cocky. Oh, we want to go 20-0. Guys, th there's a lot of skins on the wall here with this Chiefs team. Ah, excuse me. Chad Jamison. Which player on the roster is most likely to get franchise tagged this offseason? That's a good question, man. Um, oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm trying to think of guys hitting free agency. That could be candidates for that. Sneaky one? I don't know what his franchise tag number would be. Byron Pringle? Could he be a candidate? Tyron Matthew, if he's tag eligible, he's an older player, so I'm not sure if he is. I need to double check that. He's an option. Beyond that, I don't think there's a lot of tag candidates for the Chiefs. Uh, I, in fact, if, if you had to ask me, I would guess that they don't tag a player. Daniel Lamberth, who would you like to see ball out besides Kelsey and Hill? Hardman, because if he balls out with his 4-3 speed, that means he's probably taking a long one to the house. Uh, and by the way, McCole Hardman the last few weeks, been a good player, both as a receiver and a returner. He's always been a good player, but you almost feel like he's finally hitting his stride here, which that's positive heading into his final season on his rookie contract next year. If he has a big game, you know, four catches, 110 yards, because he probably took 150-plus, you know, that's, that's a nice little bonus there. Jamari Card... Carter, uh, what do you think the Chiefs' record would be if they sign OBJ next season? I don't know if it changes a ton. Uh, maybe you want an extra game or something. But what it does is it solidifies your receiving core. You go sign him, uh, you know, you maybe you let Byron Pringle go, which I'd like to bring him back. But if you bring in OBJ, you got him, Tyree Kill, McCole Hardman, I think can be your number three. Uh, you know, maybe D-Rob comes back. He's your number four. Uh, and, you know, you go from there. Maybe Cornell Powell's ready to go next year and make this 53-man. Maybe Darius Fountain uh, as well. But um, I think uh, what it does, Jamari, is it solidifies the wide receiver position. Jeremy Good, no relation to Jeremy Chuggs. Do you want uh, – do we go run heavy Sunday like we did in the regular season last year? I, I don't envision that, Jeremy. 
Sure, if the Bills are going to play insanely light boxes, you know, five in the box consistently, sure, you're going to have to run the football some. What you might see more of is like quick passing game. Underneath, get guys in space six, seven yards at a time and do it that way, methodical. Uh, but it's possible. I mean, a lot of that depends on what the Bills dictate defensively. But I always say this too, good offenses, don't let the defense dictate the game with their looks. Run your stuff. Run your stuff. Uh, you got Mo. Should the Chiefs not play Dirty Dan Sunday against Buffalo? I don't want them dropping deep into coverage a lot. I'll tell you that. If you want to drop him into the box on rundowns, cool. But uh, if you're having him drop deep into coverage, that's that's a recipe to get torched. Juice Tan 88-48. Should the Chiefs got Des Bryant if Bryant was interested instead of Josh Gordon? I don't think so. Uh, I, I get it hasn't worked with Gordon, but Bryant – Dez, literally, guys, has not had a good season since 2014. Now, you could say, well, Gordon had had a great season since 2013. Yeah, but a couple years ago, Gordon had like a five or 600-yard season. Like, his issue was suspension stuff. It wasn't, you know, one of these, uh, oh, he's just, you know, he's washed. It was, uh, obviously, he's probably a little bit washed. But at the end of the day, Dez Bryant, he is washed. And I think he knows he's done, too. I think Dez Bryant uh, knows his career is over. If you're a real Chiefs fan, subscribe to the channel. Hit that big red bu button. Turn on those notifications, and we will have you guys covered uh, throughout the playoffs and on into the offseason. Videos almost every single day. We'll keep these live streams going into the offseason as well. So go ahead and subscribe today. Uh, Tay, do you think Cordell Powell will make the 53-man roster next season? Got a couple more on this mailbag uh, before we uh, – take a break before our another our next mailbag um I think that if he doesn't then it, he's just not good right I'm optimistic that he will as your number four number five receiver I hope he does because if not you've probably missed on a fifth round pick which happens and that's okay uh he tweeted the other day basically saying he's ready so you know take that for what it's worth but uh I liked him a little bit coming out of Clemson he was kind of a late bloomer uh, we'll see what happens. I think that he, he, there's still potential there, but uh, he didn't make the 53 this year, uh, so he'll have to earn it during training camp. Lucas Navarro, who day think going to beat them Chiefs? Uh, talking about the Bengals thinking they're going to beat them. Uh, I don't think so, but uh, they did beat the Chiefs a couple weeks ago, so it's possible. Bengals got to beat the Titans first, uh, and that's not a gimme. Chiefs got to beat the Bills first, and that is also not a gimme, so... Uh, we will uh, we will see what happens. Last one on this mailbag. Thank you for everything you do from Tony. Perfect way to end. Tony, I appreciate that. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, again, be sure to subscribe for more videos.